What is going on, everybody out there? Lamont on the run. And today, walking down Las Vegas Boulevard, we're in the section right between downtown, which is over there, and the strip, which is over there. You can see the stratosphere right over there. I would love to fly my drone right up to the very top of the needle part, but uh, there's a restriction. You cannot fly your drone anywhere in or around the strip. So today we're going to talk about Alyssa Milano, uh, this beautiful woman right here, very beautiful woman, and uh, she's she received a lot of flack on social media. Uh, a little while ago in particular during the super bowl and i'll tell you why so Alyssa milano as as a lot of you guys know uh you probably know her from uh who's the bot oh look underwear are i mean if nobody's gonna grab them i mean anyways so as we know we know Alyssa milano from you know primarily who's the boss anyways that's how i know her from but also, also uh, she's been on several TV shows. Uh, she was on Charmed, you know, with the Three Witches, with Shannon Daughtery. Uh, she played on a season of Earl. Uh, she's been in many plays. Uh, she's produced a pop album in Japan. Uh, many TV shows and movies that I don't know. She's, she's basically been a very busy working actress for quite some time. Right, so she's been famous basically since she was like eight years old. So currently or now she's 51. Uh, her net worth, now I don't know how true this is, but it's estimated to be around $10 million. So if you're worth $10 million, in my opinion, you're a multimillionaire and there's nothing wrong with that. That's a great thing. That is a great thing. So the reason why she's getting flack is because, and I don't know why she did this, she decided to start a GoFundMe. <laughs> yeah, a GoFundMe. So she has a 10-year-old kid named Milo. And so she started a GoFundMe for his travel expenses with his Little League baseball team. Now, her goal on the uh, GoFundMe was $10,000. So... Wow, what do we got going here? Oh, okay. I see my life flash before my very eyes. So, her goal on GoFundMe was $10,000, right? And she exceeded it. She actually ended up making $15,000. So, basically, the GoFundMe says, hey, this is a GoFundMe to raise money for my son's travel expenses. Uh, the money's going to go towards hotels, uh, food, uh, transportation, uh, uniforms, so forth and so on. Now, people are wondering, why are you starting a GoFundMe when you're worth $10 million? And so people started on Twitter raising a stink, raising a, 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 a cause of concern as to why a rich person is doing this. So she basically put on her Twitter on her tweeter she says quote every parent what did she say right okay because i wrote it down i wanted to get exactly what she said and plus i'm keeping my eye on this uh guy in front of me kind of distracted me looked me a little bit odd quote every parent raises money for their child's sports teams through gofundme i am no different unquote right Unquote. Okay. So, uh, well, I, I disagree with that assertion that you're no different than them because, number one, um, even though GoFundMe has been abused, um, GoFundMe is, is, wasn't generally made with the idea of rich people <laughs> getting money from not rich people for things that are not needed. Uh, in my personal opinion, it makes her look very trashy and very lowbrow. That's just what I think. I mean, who cares what I think, but, you know. 
to start a GoFundMe and you're and you're that's just that's very low down. It's very low brow. It, it's uh, it makes her just look like a douche. That's my personal opinion. So it got even worse for her and her family when she posted pictures of her with her son at the Super Bowl. Now that's what I need. That is what I need. That that is that's what I'm talking about right there. Hell yeah. Okay. How much is that? Hey, I need that. It needs to go a little faster though. So yeah, her posting the picture with her son at the Super Bowl, which the tickets for the Super Bowl would range anywhere from one to ten thousand dollars. So nobody's quite sure how much she paid, but obviously she had to get a hotel. Obviously she had to fly. Obviously she bought the tickets. So that GoFundMe was probably used towards the Super Bowl. Yeah. So very a very trashy look for Alyssa Milano. But uh, you know, honestly, for what she said before about certain things, um, political political stuff, I wouldn't expect any different from her you know which is a shame because she's i i, I kind of have a crush on her too bad she's a stupid uh well anyways uh other than her um all of the tv shows and the movies she's done she also has her own line of female uh, major league baseball and nascar apparel so this woman is not hurting uh she is a working actress uh has been busy all of her life, continues to be busy uh, all of her life. And you know, like I said, when you have that kind of money, and uh, you, uh, when you have that kind of money, your money makes more money, right? Let me tell you something about like millionaires. I love millionaires, right? Because a lot of times, millionaires, they invest their money into businesses and they hire people like you and me. Now, I don't work that way anymore, but I used to. So, when when millionaires go online and try to raise money for worthy causes you know that that's fine you know you can do whatever you want to do but when you're online and you're raising money for causes that really in a way sometimes don't benefit anybody it just benefits your ego it just makes you look like a manipulative doish and then people hide you know, you hide behind the fact that, yo, know, you're, you're doing something kind, you're doing something great. No, it's an ego stroke. It's an ego trip. It's it's somebody that is, is trying to, they're trying to appear to be, oh, look at me, I'm I'm do I'm raising money because I'm a great person. Yeah, but you're you're a multimillionaire. <laughs> you could you could you could pay for it yourself. You know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, not not throwing shade, just I'm just saying, Alyssa Milano. Yeah, you think it's a good thing you raising your money for your for your kids uh, stupid baseball it's, it's not necessary you could have paid for it yourself what a what a douchebag by the way i knew a kid back in the day that tag devil i wonder if this is the same dude uh if it is uh if you're a, a kid with black hair and uh, i met you on rainbow like rainbow in uh like by the 95 up on the west side, leave a comment below and say what's up. Okay. All right, guys. So just wanted to talk about the Alyssa Milano thing. I got to get inside here and get some coffee. By the way, uh, if you want a good 7-Eleven to avoid, this would be the one. Las Vegas and Charleston. Try to avoid this one if you can. This is one of the worst 7-Elevens in town. Anyways, guys, smells like piss here. Got to go. Catch up with you on the next episode. Peace out. Keep on.